What is up everyone, my name is Fortas and welcome back for some more sim racing. As you can see, today we are back on Automobilista and uh, yeah, got quite a special combination for you guys. Uh, it's actually all vanilla content for once. Um, and yeah, since it uh, t t this weekend actually, or actually today, the uh, Austrian Grand Prix takes place, I thought why not take a look at Spielberg here on Automobilista and then I realized there are actually two historic layouts. So, yeah, I thought, why not take a look? And, uh, yeah, I'm not regretting it. This is the 1977 uh, Grand Prix layout for uh, Spielberg. And, uh, oh boy, am I in love with this track. We're driving the Formula V12 around here, so, uh, yeah, it doesn't really uh, match up time-wise because... Uh, Driving the 1977 layout with a 90s Formula One car, but uh, who cares? This uh, looks a little bit of contact with the green uh, car there. Um, but yeah, this uh, this um, car is undoubtedly, at least in my opinion, the uh, most fun F1 car here on Automobilista. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, this corner, this corner is amazing with the banking oh man I'm really really in love with this track um, I have to say I have uh, Automobilista since uh, since launch and I never really gotten around to drive this uh, track and uh, yeah have I missed out so much fun uh, really those uh, sweeping corners like this where you can really take a lot of speed through Absolutely on the limit. It's uh, it's definitely a lot, a lot of fun. It's uh, it's amazing to drive. So there's two historic layouts for Spielberg. Uh, first there's this uh, 1977 layout, and then there's also a 1974 layout. And uh, yeah, the only difference is actually turn one here. It's a chicane. Uh, otherwise, it's a uh, sweeping a right-hander like this one and yeah I thought why not uh, take the 1977 layout because it adds a little little bit more extra uh, a little bit uh, slow section in there because otherwise it's just like it's very fast but yeah that makes it a lot of fun but yeah it's always good to see uh, at least one slower section in there because these cars are quite difficult on um, slow and uh, the slow speed stuff so that again offers more challenge this cor these corners here you can really feel the car being absolutely on the limit so you have to really be careful uh, with your inputs and uh, that compared to racing the AI on, on such a fast track really <laughs> offers a big challenge the AI is set to 112% difficulty and aggression is set to high. Normally with open wheels I don't put up the aggression that high but yeah, like this it seems to be working so why not. The AI is generally relatively good but yeah, on the, on the straights here they can sometimes break uh, a little for no reason or hold a little in. Uh, yeah, that sometimes makes it a little bit too easy to uh, pass them on the straights. But yeah, the high aggression definitely makes them uh, look for moves down the inside or the outside. Uh, definitely on in the first chicane can be quite tricky actually. Uh, but yeah, it seems to be a nice setting. So we're driving a uh, short 10 minute race here to show off the track. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, also, I've driven uh, the, uh, uh, the Porsche 911 RSR 3.0. It's basically, basically the uh, uh, 1970s Porsche. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. 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 It's just amaz
it really is um, yeah if you haven't already checked out this track you should definitely do it um, I've, been, I've been having such much look, such much fun with uh, with this I used to be not really into uh, historic tracks, but uh, uh, recently I kind of grew into and I didn't really uh, know or actually I was forgotten there was a uh, historic track uh, for Spielberg and uh, yeah, I'm glad I found out because it's really amazing. It's just, yeah, it's very reminiscent of the uh, current layout. Obviously, uh, it's still got the same uh, flow to it, but it's just so much faster. And it got this amazing banked corner, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, I really much prefer this uh, layout over the uh, current layout. And obviously, historic Formula cars, in my opinion, a lot more fun than uh, the current ones. Definitely with uh, this V12 engine. It's actually a uh, lost formula car with the V12 engine. So it's based off of that car. I think it's uh, early 90s, but I'm not really sure actually. Uh, yeah, it should be. Very tricky stuff, the chicane. So uh, easy to overdrive the car here on the exit and you know this uh, this car kind of reminds me of um, of the champ car mod um, for automobilista the cars are quite the same characteristics if you ask me but this uh, is a little bit of a uh, more tame version it's a really uh, a bit more controllable, a little bit more forgiving than the uh, than the champ cars. But yeah, uh, it would be fun to take uh, them out for uh, for a spin around here. And probably end up in a spin, but yeah. <laughs> If you like uh, historic tracks, definitely Automobilista is something for you. Uh, this uh, historic version of Spielberg, then you obviously also have historic versions for uh, Imola and for uh, Hockenheim, which is part of the Legendary Tracks DLC, so you got also historic version for uh, Adelaide as well. And then there's uh, also a uh, historic layout for Interlagos, which I also checked out recently, and uh, man, is that one uh, challenging. Uh, it's really kind of a long course. You get a whole, uh, a whole other infield section, basically, and uh, yeah, it's very challenging with lots of elevation changes, lots of different corners. Um, so yeah, that one is also uh, really a lot of fun. Maybe I'm gonna do a video uh, on that one as well. In the end, I think this track is still that, just that little bit of extra, uh, with the high speed stuff here, you really have to keep it on your toes, and uh, yeah, it's quite a bit, kind of interesting to see what they've done with the track over the years, how uh, more safe it has become, uh, with lots of runoff area, and uh, yeah, basically in general a lot more uh, safer track like this you should never see you know, in uh, in the current uh, F1 era with this uh, such a high speed uh, corner with the barriers just on your left hand side it's uh, no you're definitely not gonna see that or maybe it's only good but uh, yeah Let's see if we can grab some more positions here in the slipstream down the inside. It's going to be the outside for this corner. A little bit too early on the power there. That's uh, kind of the challenge of, uh, of this track. The 
corners are so long you really have to think uh, when to uh, get on the power and not uh, drift off on the dirty uh, line there otherwise you will definitely lose a lot of time like for example here you can really see the marbles on the outside if you get in there the uh, corner is uh, most likely screwed So that's uh, zero seconds remaining, so that's going to be the last lap, next lap. A little bit of understeer there. Yeah, it's just uh, amazing to see uh, this historic version and how much detail it actually is put into. Because uh, if you look closely to kind of the grandstands and the people on there, you will see retro cars and all that uh, you will see beetles uh, parked up the uh, of the hillsides so yeah, definitely a lot of uh, eye to detail in this track so the uh, public is also uh, or the spectators are also uh, adapted to the time period and that's just that's just a lot of fun to see also the advertising boards uh, big grandstand over there it's just very immersive and the only thing uh, that was actually uh, missing would be a nice uh, skin pack for these cars uh, that would add a little bit of extra to the immersion but yeah probably uh, I think there's there would be some uh, skin pack out there for uh, these cars uh, it would surprise me if there's not one uh, so yeah basic uh, quick Google search should uh, get you a long time shouldn't get you a long time I should say so that's gonna be it last corner here right up to the wall and uh, yeah I think I made my point clear this uh, track is amazing um, yeah, you should definitely check it out because yeah, it's so much fun a lot of high-speed stuff okay, uh, combined with uh, this little slow speed section here it's just amazing suck on this modern formula one so thanks for watching definitely leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, subscribe for more videos on sim racing and uh, yeah i'll see you later